uh, like to call the meeting of the East Line Town Council Financial Budget Oversight Committee. Um, and and uh, present are, and I'll just ask you to go around and give your Hi, names. Christine Sarnier. Don Starks. Richard Fichero. Kathy Hill. And Jim Bradereth. Um, and uh, today's uh, agenda that was posted is uh, step one is to review and approve the minutes that were drawn up by uh, Kathy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I just had one. It's probably just a typo, Kathy. I, go ahead. Oh, you probably got it. Well, Chris pointed it out. Thank you. It was, I don't have nearly it. Conclusion. Nearly. Yeah, we all had it. Yeah. <laughs> I switched that to nearing in the official yes. notes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with that said, I was fine with the with the rest of the minutes. Uh, I was the, as well. Okay, then I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I so, move to approve. Yes, second. Right, Chris <laughs> and uh, and Don. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say no. All right. Thank you, Kathy. Job well You're done. You're welcome. Thank yes. You. So our next uh, our next item is really to now that we've got the, the budget package to take a look at the package and determine our next steps. Um, and um, we, we've got the we've got kind of the overview. And I, I thought probably we want to start taking a look at the overview first and see generally where we stand, and then and then we should talk about. Um, who we want to talk to, which budgets do we want to review, which budgets do we want we want to actually have people come in and talk to us about uh, and kind of fill in our our meetings to uh, make sure that we can account for all that. Uh, but I think maybe first uh, moving to, does anybody have any uh, questions, issues about the organization charts? And why don't we move on to the... It's the only comment I have. Yes. I noticed the vacancy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, if I can make an intuitive comment, I was talking to um, my esteemed colleague here, Ms. Hill, on the way in. I noticed how much our budget's impacted by what we can't control, like the health insurance. Uh, the trash collection went up a, a huge amount. The dispatch went up a huge amount. You know, 29%, 35%, and, and those we can't, we have no control over that. Right. And it really impacts our, our decision making, it really does. Yeah, I think on the dispatch, this is the last year we get full reimbursement. I'm not sure if it's the last year. I think, I, I don't yeah, think, I think you're right. right. Yeah. yeah. The only thing about the dispatch that works in our favor is in addition to Chickabee Long Meadow, East Long Meadow, they brought in Ware and help me out one other one. So Two communities. Way out there. So uh, yeah. it drops down our percentage mm -hmm. of the share. Yeah. And kind of on to piggyback on mm. Rich as a big picture, I tend to be a big picture person. Mm. Um, I'm looking at the current state of the economy and we're looking inflation. Inflation is definitely going to have um, an impact on the budget and we cannot really forecast that. Um, I can only speak to my industry. We're seeing increases of between 15 and 30 percent. Mm -hmm. Construction increases. Construction industry is out of sight. So um, I think we have to be aware of those because things may be uh, budgeted, but are they available? And at what cost? And would they be better put off to when it settles, which may be a while. The other thing is, uh, I hate to use the big R word of recession. There's talk of that. And I remember back in 2008, Jim, you're, you remember dealing with the budget afterward. Um, it was very difficult for us to regain our balance. So I think we have to keep the big picture in mind as well. I'm just you know, yeah, concerned. Yeah, I would agree with that because I, I, some of the increases are all in gasoline. Yes, yes, yes. Once again, that's something else we can't control. Right, exactly. And, you know, some of them are level funded. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, they did oh, this yeah. budget before that hit. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I put question marks on all those lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just looking at the the memo that Mary had put together, I mean, it, it, and the priorities, it's, it's really eight full time, eight new full timers mm -hmm. and one mm -hmm. new part timer. Or you know, encompassed in the budget. So mm. that's, a lot of, that's a lot. 
So let's let's move to the sources and uses. And um, <laughs> I, 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 as I was <laughs> saying to Don, I, I'm not sure I followed this one all the way. It, it sometimes it confuses me more, but in any event, uh, we, we have our FY22 approved budget, uh, which is there as our base, which the total general fund sources are 64, 642. And then the projected FY23 as it paid the fifth, which shows uh, general fund sources proje projected at 67.2, which appears to be thanks to uh, new growth, uh, the two and a half percent, and um, some additional state aid that we that we're doing. Um, and that was a three three million dollar increase it would represent a three million dollar increase over FY22, or almost a five percent increase, which is actually pretty pretty good for us. Um, and that, oops, I thoroughly apologize. I don't, I'm not even sure I know how to silence it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No phone. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can worry it or something. Uh, <laughs> And uh, that, that second column here, the general fund uses budget and the general fund uses other amounts to be raised um, for the 69887 represents quite a big jump yeah. from FY22. Well, page one right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same, same page. Yeah, first so, page. Just real small. Page. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, yeah, not, it's about after, the, after the general fund sources uh, reach the next two okay. rows. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're small. Kind of restate. Well, this this adds uh, projected uses, and mm. uh, and that's where. so with the projectors we had sixty three eight ninety one for the budget in FY twenty two at the current budget, and that includes capital, I believe. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it would be sixty nine eight eighty seven, which would suggest that our projected revenue uh, would be short. Of our projected uh, uses by 2.1 million. Uh, so. Yeah, and yeah. I think I, I assumed that that 69887 um, included the monies, the total cost of the capital projects, which are going to be paid from other sources like ARPA and. I, I, I think I think you're right. I think uh, looking at the, the department by department, there is looks like the capital is in there yeah, right now. It, so it, yeah, we can we can kind of sort that through. And when you think last year we had one million and fifty thousand in capital projects, right. and this year we've got what two and a half times that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and, and uh, obviously the yeah the, the capital plan is just making the recommendations of things they think deserve to be funded. Mm -hmm. but, sure. Yeah. Uh, the, the the bottom uh, flurry of numbers here uh, is kind of a restatement of things, um, and I get a little out of it, but I don't get a lot out of it. Yeah. So I, I mean, unless someone has something they want to. Cover on it. I would say we we move on to our next page. I only have one comment. Jeff. Yes, yep. and that's this is a rebound year mm -hmm. for our valuations. Okay. And, yeah, I, I was going to call Diane this morning and yeah. see if they had any kind of projection on what they thought, how they thought the values would go. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, the real estate market is has been absolutely crazy. And are they anticipating values to go up six percent, eight percent? If we're going up, uh, projecting a tax rate of a dollar eighty-five, or an increase of a dollar eighty-five, rather, uh, that means that mm -hmm. it's like three point seven million that we're adding uh, to the levy mm -hmm. compared to last year. So that's substantial. Mm -hmm. That's my only comment. Yeah, so I no, think we're going to have to be aware of the change in values, Joe. You know, it's always that thing where it's not like you're going to pay less. It's just going to, the rate's going to yeah, be. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Sometimes the values go up, but the rate goes down, yeah. you know. 
So yeah, this is a double Chris, refresh my memory. We pay a certain amount every every year for the revaluation, like on the installment plan, but the actual revaluation only occurs every three years. It's not it's like every five a third of it is a, okay, every, every five years. So it's fifty-three thousand dollars is. But it's not like a part of the town's base is revalued each year. Uh, it, it just it, we're paying for it, but it, but then the revaluation that is done for the entire no, town they, that one year. No, they do updates every year. They what they call is they call it a cyclical yeah. reevaluation, yeah. so that the state expects you to do it in a cycle of five years. So you can do a fifth of the town. Or you can choose to do half of the town one year and half the next year. Um, as long as your sales justify the values you determine, yeah. Yeah. you're yeah. good to go. So for our revalue, are, are, we, are, are, is, are we revaluing 100% of the town's property? I have a feeling they're probably doing a third. Okay. That's just my conjecture. Uh, you'd have to ask uh, the director of assessing. So that would be a good question to ask. Yeah. Um, so unless there's any other comments on this page, I would say we move on from the projections of um, local receipts, which uh, obviously there's a few things that change quite a bit. Yeah, I, I see in, um, and because I'm a newbie, relatively, mm -hmm. uh, FY21, and I, of course, COVID just keeps flashing in my mind as to mm -hmm. how much this skews numbers. Um, so I saw an FY, I'm looking at fees, and it was 75.88, and then we jumped up to budget, and 22 was 50, and for 23, 50. Um, I was just wondering, does anyone know why we went from 7,500 in fees all the way up? I know we increased, but I can't imagine that it was that much. I think building fees changed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. substantial. I was just yeah. curious. Mm -hmm. uh, it what would actually be interesting to see where we are in actual fees. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rentals through, are... Through, through this, you know... Right. Okay. So let me write that down. What are these? <laughs> and the the rental fees are those uh, fields and facility. Well, I have the note here. Telephone cellular. Verizon, oh. Okay. Fifty-eight thousand. All right. That's what. Okay. Yep. So we're, it sounds like we're making money on the, on the cell towers. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Cell towers. That. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you. And so the meals tax, the assumption is that, I, well, so that's one where Mike, uh, I probably would ask about just to make sure, I guess the theory would be people are going to be eating more this summer and, and therefore we'll get more money. Yeah, one would hope. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you look at yeah. uh, the, the fiscal 22 uh, estimated at 345000 so. Now that we're past the third quarter, maybe it'd be helpful to ask Steve some of these questions. Yes. And yeah. get a better idea. Right. right. <clears throat> and again, the recurring uh, $133,000 increase. Is oh. Recurring, that would be wonderful. But, so I only had a, a three or four of them circled. I, these are different people who budget these, or is this pretty much Steve? It's Steve. Okay. I think right. he's following the format that was done before. Yes. Like, you know, all the other columns, you start with 21, 22, and 23. And this one here is... That's the... Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a little yeah. confusing. It is. Yes. Yeah, all right, so we have a few questions, but nothing... Uh, we can do that in the course of our... Yeah, yeah I think Steve will be pretty key. Yeah. Then our general fund sources, which is kind of like a, a, a blown up version of the first one. Mm -hmm. um, it really just shows what we uh, are, are the same. I did see uh, other projected revenues, quite a jump there. 
of 246,000. Yeah. And just again, yeah. maybe another Steve question. I yeah. think I have a lot of Steve questions. Yeah. So. And what was that you were looking at? Again? That was page three. God, we have three, yep, three of other eight. projective yeah. revenues. Um, it jumped once again oh. up uh, 246, oh, okay. kind of jumped off the page. Oh. You know, because yeah. I've got. I've got the levy limit worksheet uh -huh. that the state puts out, and I plugged in some of the numbers that were provided here. Our maximum allowable levy limit is closer to forty nine billion seven hundred and forty versus uh, versus the forty six. Yeah, the, the levy mm. limit doesn't. That's a pretty big. big uh, yeah. That's a pretty big difference. Is, is that the actual after the recap? <clears throat> no, well, this no, it's not the actual yeah. the recap, but. Uh, I plugged in the debt exclusion, which was included in, in the paperwork here, and yeah. I plugged in the $500,000 of new growth mm -hmm. because the, the 2023 levy ceiling would be that amount. So uh, I came up with 49506777 I I don't know if I'm doing it right. I think I am. So then it's you're because coming up with a, as a maximum levy limit for FY23? Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're in the 49 million range. Versus 48. Yes. Well, that's a bit of a difference. Could you read that? Uh, no, again, I have 49,000 that you mentioned. Uh, 49, 49 million. million. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 506. Seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Okay, Which that's is, when you add the five hundred thousand oh. growth. Because they took last year's levy limit mm -hmm. and the two and a half percent plus the five hundred thousand. The the forty-six one twenty-seven that's in the FY twenty three recommended column here, which is the first number at the top. I think it's yeah. that's just two and a half times the forty-four three twenty-one budgeted amount for twenty two. I think it's a grand total of the expenditures that oh, they oh, it's, it's the it's the forty six one twenty seven yeah, that's based on yes. the budget. Yeah. Not on the <clears throat> not on actual. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, are you thinking that the forty-eight thousand is not an accurate maximum? Forty-eight million, if we stay within the budget, million. is is you know that would still leave a million dollars on the table, which means just because we can raise it, we don't have to. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll need to clarify that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Today's newspapers. They did the house version of the mm -hmm. another thirty dollars per student mm -hmm. for chapter yeah. seven. Almost double, which yeah. is another seventy some odd thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, then the bank interest was only a question mm -hmm. I had only yeah. because I thought rates oh. were going up. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> then I thought, did some did we Unless move we something cash, and we, take it? Unless well, we, we yeah, yeah. which wrong? We have less cash and we have the so that's another Steve question. I'm sorry, which one was that? On? Uh, bank interest. Bank, interest. okay. Then we have our sources and uses for revolving <coughs> funds, I guess. Mm -hmm. Have too much to do with anything yeah. else. I don't, have a lot, I don't have a lot to say about it. No. no. Then we have this is the one I really work at. It's page five of eight. Yeah. <coughs> As the, the pool budget, where we stand. So again, it's kind of restatement. Five percent unless it, you know get adjusted by. What Chris Chris talked about in terms of limit, because that would <clears throat> basically shows close to five percent increase in. Because right now we're saying our maximum levy limit would be two million short. Right? Yeah. Right. 
So we've got general government 13.81%, public safety 7.94% up, health 3.69, public works 13.36, education at 3.91, uh, insurance, I think it should be 5.27. Yeah. Because there is a six hundred and eighty three thousand dollar increase. Five point two seven. Although even the in, some increases we've seen in the past uh, yeah. <laughs> could be worse. <clears throat> the debt service is debt down. Debt service is down. So that bottom percentage should be off too then. Right. So what was the insurance? Obviously you calculated the percentage. Uh five point two seven. 683.7 over 12.7. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I didn't recalculate oh, for the total. Okay. Probably, it's probably just the percent that's off. Mm, yeah. Chris, the numbers. Yeah, the numbers are, are correct. Good. Yeah, if he just plugged in and went across, yeah. it should do it. Okay. Five point seven. Well, no, I come up with five point seven eight. So, so it's okay. they probably did the correct. And it's probably just it's a typo. Right for that column. It's a typo. Then here's the two point nine million in the capital projects that you were mm -hmm. alluding mm -hmm. to, uh, Chris. Yeah. And that really kind of accounts for the three eighty four. Yeah. <laughs> Shortfall. Yeah. Or at least a good chunk of it. Yeah, and I think we pretty much recommended almost everything from, we had categories A, B, and C. I think we recommended everything from category A through B. Am I correct, uh, Jim? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, it would, yeah. it would be good to know the dollar amount that that's going to be put against that 2.9 million. Yes, because so we, we look at a real number. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because it's kind of jaw-dropping. <clears throat> yeah. You mean in, in terms of the individual projects? Yeah, well, but in terms of the ARPA money, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking. Is ARPA yeah, yeah, yeah. Money is coming from uh, ARPA money, right? Then we say, oh, well, we we'll only have to raise 431,000, right? Right, right. Oh, okay, yeah, that, yeah. that'll be a big that's that's going to be a big factor of this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. So we'll have to dig into that yeah. for sure. Well, that's the big that's still a question, yeah, yeah adjust for yeah. The funding. And then I had a question on other charges. What are they? Yeah, they they went up quite a bit, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So is that state? Is that the state charges. other charges? Or I noticed the state charges went up. I don't think so. Quite a Just, bit. Because yeah. isn't there, isn't the there a line I mean, they where increased, we have to pay but they didn't state increase mm -hmm. what they gave us? Right. No, they're taking from. But it is up quite substantially. Yes. So yeah, that would be another question. I assume Steve, Steve would be our first step. Mm -hmm. He could be our first guest, huh? Yeah. Yeah. As all I know to say, Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> He's probably going to clear up a lot of this. Yeah. So that's uh, that's basically. Um, so we got a question on the what to use for the max levy limit. Yeah. And we got a question on the capital project and funding. Questions to make sure we understand what things, mm -hmm. what things what are. they are. Yeah. So it looks bad, but it's not as bad as it, it could be. As <laughs> it looks. No. So um, next uh, set was really a summary of all the town budgets, mm -hmm. and then behind that is all our individual budgets for the town. Um, the last time. Uh, we did it. We kind of went through this budget summary yeah. yes. and yeah. indicated which ones we thought we needed to Flesh do out. some review. question. Or, yeah. uh, yes, I like it, it, that worked out very well. Did, did you want to do that again? Yes, I like yeah, that. It's organized, too. Right. I think. Yeah. And I would say we we plow right through that, mm -hmm. and um, and I think we can also kind of maybe determine which which of these we can ask questions of and which ones we, we may need to have, we want to have someone talk to us about. So town council was an increase of 0.1% uh, 
I, I, I don't I would leave that I alone. Have a, no. Uh, town manager, uh, of course, it's uh, with the projection, I guess, for the new town, new town manager. Um, uh, who's getting a 4% raise? That kind of caught me off guard. Most of the raises were 2%. I don't have a question other than that. That's why I'm bringing it up. Where do you see four? Individual packet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we, I mean, if we, if, I guess we could add, that could be a question I want to ask because I'm not yeah. filled mine. Under, under town manager, I happen to watch one of the council meetings um, and it was brought up that the deputy town assessor that we had okayed for the uh, expense for last year. Deputy town manager? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You yeah. said assessor. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's yeah. just, yeah, I didn't see That's that. my old school. Coming That's back. right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, she had done a lot of work with the planning board. She had done a lot of work with grants. And one of the counselors did suggest that it might be worthwhile, although Mary didn't put it forward, to have a grant space because that brings revenue into mm -hmm. the town. So, not that it's up to us to suggest it, but I think if Mary attends another one of our meetings, mm -hmm. I'd like to ask her if she felt that was worthwhile because um, she, the the person that was in that position, brought in a two hundred thousand dollar grant, mm -hmm. and we, you know she had a thirty five thousand dollar salary. Yeah, that makes sense. I yeah, mean. so uh, you know you get a return on your investment. So I don't know if that's something the council would consider, or if it's strictly up to the town manager to town put that into her budget. I, I think it's strictly up to the town manager. And um, Mary did mention that, and, and maybe she mentioned it in our meeting, our finance meeting, that the individual who's in the position now is not returning by choice. Yeah. She's got... Um, I think family obligations, and she's got a quite of a commute. Okay. So her own personal situation, um, and so Mary has elected not to fill that position right now, okay. uh, leaving it to the decision of the new town manager whether or not he or she wants to use it for grants management or whatever whatever the individual is doing right now. Yeah. Do you feel it would be appropriate to uh, put in an amount of $35,000 for a part-time person or uh, we should talk I mean, to you can Mary. recommend it. Yeah. I mean, and it'll be up to the council, I guess. Yeah. But council, you can't council add, people. though. Can't. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You, council can't add. We can subtract. But you can't add. If we could convince her to put it in as a placeholder and see where it fits. I mean, obviously, as we go down, we'll see where we sit, whether it makes sense. But when you get someone, we're paying 35 grand and the return on investment is, I know this town has gotten quite a few grants mm -hmm. and I don't know if it was solely through this person though. But I, my recollection is that she brought in three big ticket grants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because we're looking for money like wherever we can. Yeah, I mean, against thirty-five thousand dollars salary, you, you you know they're yeah paying for themselves many times so over. Asking to explore here the the, the top deputy town manager position or changing it to a grant writer's position. Well, I think you know we don't give titles. Okay, all so, we so explore. Is, okay. Yeah, all we can do is approach the right. town manager and ask her if she thinks it would be appropriate to put that amount of money into her budget for the next town manager um, to use if they saw it fit to hire either a part-time person to help out at her office because I know that, you know. And, and you're saying in addition to the, what's in the budget for yeah. the deputy town manager. Can you imagine I'm spending money and yeah, no. cutting money? Yes. <laughs> but the budget didn't have she that didn't include. Position. Right, so right. it wouldn't be in addition to it. It would be, be add not at the person's right. discretion. Right, right. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it sounds like town manager. We want to talk. Yes, yes. we do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reserve fund is the reserve fund. Uh, I think we can maybe talk about that in separately or yeah. 
Uh, it's been the same for ever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seems like we haven't had to, we haven't run afoul of it. No. No. It's, it, it, we haven't heard any complaints that it wasn't enough. Right. Mm. right. Town accountant. Uh, that's a, that's a, a position. So, uh, the request of position in there, correct? Yeah. So yeah. I assume we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. talk yes. About yeah. Yeah. So we're going to invite Steve. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to do a lot of talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the assessor, uh, it's a 10.2 percent increase uh, of step increases and a regrade, mm -hmm. and then annual maintenance. Kind of non-negotiable items. Kind of stuff. Yes. Uh, do we review it, but not? Call in Diane. Or? I don't think we need to. Right. I mean, or, it's, or it's it yeah. right. It's increases in yeah. something we have no control over. That right. software. Mm -hmm. So it's a big jump. They've changed to a new uh, mapping mm -hmm. maintenance. Right. 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 Which always costs money. Which, yes. <laughs> but we, if maybe instead of calling her in, if we could just get that answer from her on whether it's a full town reval or not, rather than having her to have to come in. Oh, okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can call her if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. That's sure. Or I can if you want. It doesn't matter to me. So we're well. recommending review only, not necessarily invite Diane. Right. Right. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Uh, collector treasurer. This is a new new position being requested on this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I assume we probably want to mm -hmm. talk with talk Don. About yeah. it. Legal services, twenty three percent increase. Um, it's one of those, you know, sort of reserve. I mean, I guess you, you figure out what you already got going on. Yeah. And then you think about what other what things you may have to do, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm just not sure what the rationale is. There's increased new town management union contracts. So I guess you're figuring we're going to be using. Yeah. Them. This was a heavy year. Mm. This was. Right. But next next year. year. Are the is the fire union, fire department, firefighters union. Um, school side takes care of itself. Right, yeah. Just report to us. Yeah. And do we have a lot of outstanding lawsuits, or have we? That's been whittled down pretty well, pretty well. This almost looks but like yeah. There was a lot of um, negotiations and some arbitration. Yeah. Uh, costs that mm -hmm. in this current fiscal year. This this almost looks like it's assuming there's going to be some special legal costs to negotiate a contract with the new town manager. Mm -hmm. That I All right, so could only so that's a question. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna. And would that be? Are we asking Mary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she could yeah. answer that line item. Yeah. 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 Uh, human resources. This is where we have. Uh, Another ad, right? Well, you two as ever, one full time and one part time. Yeah, we need to probably and talk quite a, about and quite a software increase also. Yeah, and this has been a recurring HR, issue, yeah. has it not, Kathy? Well, keeping yeah. someone in yes. HR, yeah. yes. and then it's expensive to hire out, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, it'd be nice if we could figure out a way to and help the new town, town manager. I know Mary must just be. And there's here. so much involved with the Affordable Care Act and the Benefits Administration. Yes. Yeah. Oh, time. It's a huge Retire The retirement piece, it's it mind-boggling. Employee, right. yeah. So would we invite? Um, uh, it's uh, Joan I went to director in. Yeah. But staffing is what I'm asking about, huh? So, Kathy, where do we sit right now um, with HR? Do we have a permanent, we have a permanent director, okay. Joan Iwanicki? Mm -hmm. We have a new benefits administrator of just two or three weeks. And I, forgive me, I don't remember right. the individual's name. I think she's on the chart. Um, Part time, Kathy? No, the benefits ma administrator is full time. And we have one generalist who's an assistant. Okay. But uh, they desperately need more help. They just can't keep up with all the the requirements that are imposed on us from the federal and the state. Unfunded mandates. <laughs> of, of <course. laughs> 
There was a time when the state imposed things that they had to pay us for it, but mm -hmm. uh, that, those days that, by the that ship sailed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so their next department is the fire department. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to What's item information no. technology? IT. Oh, different page. Yes, yeah, we're page seven now. Okay. You hear my good friend? Yeah. Information Page six, page eight. Yeah. Uh-oh. You don't have a page seven? I'm going to put it out of order. Well, you guys, whoever has a page seven, we can start talking about it. Well, okay, so it's just information technology. Information technology, uh, overall increase of $120,366. Most of that is in uh, union increases. Well, I guess they transferred a school employee to information technology, so her salary followed her. That's, yeah. the, that's the name Mindy, if I'm yeah, correct. That's, that's Who, where was she on the school? She thing? was on the, the, um, the report to the state that do all that. Oh, the data specialist? The data specialist, gotcha. yeah. I, I do. So her salary obviously jumped to this yes. ledger. Okay. So eighty thousand. So basically eighty thousand of her salary, and then the other forty-one. I think there's quite a few people in that department. There are eight yes. full time, I think. Um, what was the rationale for transferring that person? Don might know. He 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 know. knows every <laughs> meeting. <laughs> yeah. Speculate on that. No, I, I'm not familiar, but I think it because so much of it was IT released. Yeah, okay. Just, I think it, it just seemed like it was easier for her to. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So, so do we want to we, we want to review technology? Usually, the size of the budget we usually talk yeah, about it a little bit. Do, we, a do we want to just talk to Ryan? Somebody call Ryan and ask him the reason for the transfer and go from there because uh, so we're going basically to computer repairs dropped quite a bit. So we should just review only, no invite? Okay. Well, it's the question. Well, we need a clarification. Yeah. Yeah, I did find it. <laughs> and now, so that individual who's now on under Ryan's budget, that means that on the school side, it should be dropped eight exactly. thousand. Yeah. I assume that's how it's going to work. <laughs> and why are computer repairs costs dropping? You would think it would be the other way around. Yeah. yeah. Special. Well, it says why dropping so much? Ninety-nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Down. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what's 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 our um? So are we do we to invite Ryan in or just review? Right now, it's a follow up question. Okay. Uh, regarding, you know, the transfer and the rationale. So review only. Okay. Uh, At this point, it is. If, if that explanation Status. falls yeah. flat, we'll have, to, in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get it directly yeah. from the horse. Well, I'm sure it'll be a direct <laughs> answer because it's sort of. Described here, but there's so little space. Right, exactly. Uh, so, town council clerk is an 8.5% increase uh, overall, 9% on the salaries. Um, yeah. Looks, now, this is. You know, I think there's three full time people in there. Plus yes. The department head. Yeah. Or just. <laughs> the department head and two. Full time. Full -time. Yeah, one time. I think there still is one that's split. Oh, between the clerk yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the collector. Right. So it looks like a contract increase and a, a regrade of a position mm -hmm. increasing. Which, the, yeah, question. Did they do some kind of a study here, Kathy, on people's They positions? did years ago, but I believe as part of the the contract negotiation they must have had some kind so of classification who, who got reclassified number right. of people you went through the staff and got reclassified yes. right and then they get a call on top yes, right yes exactly right, right. Yeah. so that's uh, again it's kind of out of our control yeah. Yeah. and the bylaw yeah. coding stuff right but we're on the tail end of yeah. paying for that right. um in fact that 
general code should be ready to go online for users yeah. very soon very soon so there's no uh, there's no there's nothing, nothing outlandish no, no. Uh, so real. so Sounds good. looks okay unless it comes okay. something okay. else okay. so, so we're gonna hold on that yeah. we're not yeah. gonna bring so, so, right. so this is gonna be our template i want to make sure i've yeah. got everything just yes. right <laughs> elections now okay yeah, yeah. so yeah. we so looks like we have some well, I, I, I gave an explanation as, as one yeah, of the wardens. Uh, we've yeah. gone from, because of our population, we've gone from four precincts to five. So that's, right. it's, it's, out, it's out of our control, another yeah. example. Yeah. We, I mean, that's, that's all and that. You need more equipment. Yeah. More equipment, more yeah. staffing. Yeah. You just yeah. name it. And it's, sta it's state mandated, correct? There were five precincts now instead of four. So much for efficiency, right? <laughs> <laughs> It seems so redundant when you're it, it, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, the chief does such a nice job of having that all coordinated and yeah. organized. Yeah. Yes. We, we could deliver four precincts. But now it's not precincts were because you were going somewhere more local for yourself, you know. But <laughs> when you're all going to the same place, I don't get the precinct thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. And so it directs them to their line, I guess. So that's, that's um, that looks okay. Yeah. That's so something that's, we're going to worry about choice. And, for. Yeah, we have to have elections. <laughs> yeah, this, this, All right, so we'll leave that alone. Uh, planning and zoning and conservation. We've got a 6.8% increase. Once again, uh, is it 12%? And, then a, the is, and a drop in non-salary. I think something new just started in yeah, planning. Yeah. 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 yeah, a brand new director. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's good. Just a couple weeks ago. I, they had a line for advertising. Does anybody know why they would have a line for advertising? Well, they have to post for their, their legal notices. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, we don't really have any major yeah. questions here, then, I guess. Huh? No. Okay. We'll take that off the list. Okay. So that's a, uh, that's a review? No. No, it's just... It's just us looking through it. Okay. I mean, I, we're, we're okay. going to still want to look at... Okay, I'm calling budgets. review just us looking, yes. so I'll get yeah, the right yeah, exactly terminology. what I would call it. Okay. All right. So, so and then if we see something that we weird. have a question on, go back. We'll come back. The next one, no choice. Yeah. Yeah. People. That's what I mean. It's just out of control expense. I said at the beginning, me look at that. I mean, I know it's a small amount, but it's just the. Yeah. They add up. They add up. Yeah. When, well, Don knows when we used to do the appropriations committee and <laughs> give, give guidelines. I mean, you'd estimate your revenue. Yeah. And then you'd have to estimate all these things you had no this. control over and take that money out too mm -hmm. because you had to pay it. And then what was left was available. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So to pause here on the general government heading, this is a minus 3.9% decrease, overall. correct? Overall, the general government. Can you believe it? With, uh, with the additions that are in there. Yeah. So that's, that's good. So police uh, is 11.7 and 10.9 on the salary and, uh, and a position. And we know that's subject to change because I think they yeah. said the contract uh, last Friday was the anticipating the conclusion Ooh. of the contract negotiations. However, so this so will this probably change to, the yes. numbers, do you we're, think, Kathy? Um, Have, do you know if they flesh that out? It's. I'm sure it's going. It'll change if, if this number was put in two months ago or three months ago. The contract is close to, you know, being settled. Yeah. I, I would assume this is one we want to. We want to. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to the chief, or do yeah. we want to talk to Mary? I think. Well, you can talk to the chief, but Mary will be able to give you a very detailed yeah. explanation. Yeah. Once it's. Signs. Signs. Right. Yeah. Right. And he, he did re, re request, re request the lieutenant. Lieutenant. Right. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we should does. maybe move this towards the end of the line to give time. I wouldn't put it first. Yeah. 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 So just, okay, what am I putting here? Review only okay. right at this point? No, no. No, no it needs an interview. Okay. <laughs> So fire, this includes the deputy chief position, still a 0.3% increase. Does this include ambulance revenue? That's a revolving. No, that's a revolving. That's that's a revolving. Right. right. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm some of it contributes. I mean, I think sometimes there's a there's like a, a flow through yeah, or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's a sharing. The, right. The ambulance 
fund may share in some of the um, some of the salaries, right? It's an offset. Okay. I noticed he put in for four no firefighters when I looked at the detailed budget. Maybe we should ask, yeah. even though it's a low, yeah, it's a and high I think, FTE. Yeah, I think it's on the uh, ambulance side. That he's put that oh, in. Oh, okay. Oh, they pull full time or part time. I didn't catch that, uh, Christine. I don't think it's said on the sheet. Just yeah. Four new firefighters. So I was a little confused because he also reduced uh, some part time positions from 30,000 to 10,500. I don't know. So I was a little confused. Yeah. Some reductions also mm -hmm. in staffing. Yeah. So do so we need to talk to the chief? Mm -hmm. or yeah. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Because it's. Yeah. Well, and just to get a clear. Yeah. Look, because it really is two things. I mean, it's fire, but it's also concurrently ambulance. Yeah. And where are we going? Because yeah. we right. know we're generating funds. So that can sit in our brains, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, then building is a 3% increase. Uh, Again, that's so kind of pretty just all in salaries by right. contract. Yeah. That's fine. Dispatch. Is a twenty nine percent increase. No, 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 I lost my place. We're still on eight of eighteen on dispatch. Yeah, on the oh, same I should, I should have mistake. Okay, thank you. So now we chip in. Is this a mm -hmm. multi town? Yes. See, that's see, that's my point. Twenty nine point five percent increase, and we have no way of debating that zero. That's because they bought the new building and they're they're rehabbing it, and they I my recollection from the other. Night with Mary's report said that they were, I don't want to say rebidding it, but there's an increase in construction costs uh, okay. or some costs associated yeah. with getting yeah, the which, building ready. Which yeah. would make sense. So are they in the, I don't know if you know, but in the reconstruction, are they making it so they could expand for more tax? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it should maybe long term drop for us. Yes. Well, no, no. but theoretically, it's not it would. Be right. It's, theoretically. it's not just being built for yeah. who they have now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think it does say on this the last 100% reimbursement from the state mm -hmm. 911 grant. So, okay. so. Uh, even though we're adding it in because we have to appropriate the money for payment, we'll get the money back. And just to kind of keep us focused on the category, public safety now is going up 7.9% as opposed to minus 39% decrease with the general government. So did we decide to, to just, re we were review the dispatch now? Yeah. Yeah, there's not much we I can do with it, yeah. Sense. Well, I guess the theory is our share would be less paying as a share than it would be doing oh. it ourselves. Yeah. Oh, my. We had gotten up significantly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were. Like, if we did our own no, dispatch, actually, yeah, oh, yeah. three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. 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 That would have right. been a half a million dollar yeah. operation over time. So it like, went up, but it, it's a lot less than I mean, we the budget we're exactly. we actually running it ourselves. I got an email from Steve Lonergan uh, saying he has some answers, uh, quick answers to some of your questions. If we want to try to call him. Mm -hmm. he can, he's on. He can actually oh, only okay. have audio, but he can talk to you. Oh, okay. He just won't be able to see when him. When we're almost done going through the yeah, sorry, would you like to just catch him while he's... Well, what if we have more questions? For yeah. Him? Yeah, I, I'd yeah. rather yeah. get that template done. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, this was print. to offer. Yeah. Me? <laughs> he's watching, so that's yeah. I was watching. Yeah. This right. this will also be our agenda for the next few meetings. Right. Right. So so right. Yeah. yeah. We have my notes are very exact on what we're gonna do. <laughs> and we'll follow them to the letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> health is the next right? uh, next <laughs> item. And that's a three point seven percent increase. So you got three point one with the contractual obligation. So is this an annual thing we're always gonna see? these contractual obligation increases, Kathy? Um, <clears throat> this, the, um, yeah. what was, used to be called the Town Employees Union, the TEU, yeah. right. uh, changed their name and broke into two yeah. groups, but they both negotiated That's contracts right. this year. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I'm, I don't want to speak for how long it is. It's likely a three-year contract. But the biggest hit is now because a lot of the positions were regraded. 
Yeah. Um, so next so year and the following year would likely just be a cost of living kind yeah. of thing. Now, who does the regrading? Is that done through? I resources? think that's done professionally. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm guessing. Yeah. I, I, it must be. There's got to be some agency or entity that has some sort of a matrix yeah. or classification. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think it's subjective, like, okay. oh, well, you know, you yeah, work right. harder than yeah. the person right. two doors down, so yeah. we're giving yeah, you we're, an upgrade. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Usually, it, yeah. It's got to be done with a professional agency. So, so do so. we want to uh, do anything with this one? I had two questions. Um, first is just uh, um, information. What is an ACO? Because that person has a car and they need a tithe. Animal yeah. control. Thank you, my good friend. And why is the nurse getting a five thousand dollar raise? That seems like a lot. Who is the nurse? Getting five thousand dollar raise. That's what I thought. We the don't have the status right of nurses today. Yeah, well, I know. Okay. That's the profession. I would. And didn't the charge say we don't have one right now? A health nurse for the town? I thought we had somebody that maybe we just hired. Yeah, someone could take what a look. Look. I thought we had a part time person that was increasing. Yeah. My yeah. recollection is that the contracted person just does certain things. If that's yeah. contracted, then it makes this sense. one says health nurse vacant. I don't know when this was made, but yeah, I know nursing is. It's probably a contracted service. Yeah, maybe yep. it is. Maybe for the clinics, mm. you know, the. Vaccination clinics. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass them. Yeah, I can look it up myself. We, so we really don't have any questions on the health uh, side. So just a, our, our review. Just our review. Get rid of those mosquitoes, then we mm -hmm. won't have them. Oh, well, if you don't, you're all white. We live on a swamp, <laughs> <laughs> wetlands. Lots of oh, I guess so. Then we have uh, all the different right categories up. that are kind of overseen by DPW. Yeah. Uh, We've got highway and administration with a 9.8% increase. Uh, building facilities with a 4.1. Snow and ice is what it is. Utilities with a 22%. I'm going to want to have DPW. So this is no way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always it's almost we in. always have to. Yeah. Really He's a regular. Um, yep. Yeah. So let's plan on that. And that would be really for all of all the, of his subcategories. Right. So I invite Mr. Feeney. Yeah. Because yeah, it's thirteen point four percent. Oh, that's yeah. The gasoline. Waste collection. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the big that's one. Waste big. collection. That jumped and up. Yeah, that's come under the so health department, though. I mean, they follow Bruce's list, but they. Fall to the health director. So my, should we have health? Then? Although yeah, stuff like gasoline, my fear is that that to what you were saying earlier that we don't have any hedges here, so yeah. town council is going to have to really be on it. You know, well, do we know what the tipping fee is? To dump it. To, it's, it's, a, it's a literal tip. Like a a little, yeah. yeah, but you know, yeah, but you know, Jim, what, what did we call the 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 in the capital planning that if we give them so much money we get x amount of dollars in the tip program is that the same oh yeah no i don't yeah, think so yeah i think that's gone things. away so, okay, so the tip, no 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 it's, it's still there if we put up x amount oh, of dollars because we eight put million. in for yeah. recycling or something yeah. we get money back no, so there was still, some but that's so tipping is just what i think it's yeah. different yeah. Okay. yeah 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 but uh, kathy you're saying that they're not these budgets are not administered by DPW? Health, uh, uh, health, health trash is, and, and waste trash. go under health, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I wonder why we keep them, we have them here under. They probably should works. under, you know, <laughs> following health. Probably because we just gives it a that number. That number. Uh, falls yeah. Yeah. Falls in yes. Okay. That's waste. Disposal. Don's got What's the that, reason. Don? The waste disposal for the, for the dumpsters at the transfer station. Those yeah. fees and those charges. Are under DPW. That's of course. Yeah, that's like it's a split. It's 433. Yeah, they also can get 433. The other ones. Four trash. 429 is under, I mean, 430 is under health. But 433 is Waste under. Waste collection. Okay, yeah. that's collection. So that's oh, proof. Right. Yeah. And then trash collection is 
kind of trash collection, then we wouldn't mm -hmm. have to ask yeah, help because contract. it is what it is. Right. Right? It is, yes. That's a huge increase. Yeah, I, I think the, um, <laughs> I don't know how it, I was on the website, and the recycling coordinator just gave a presentation, and uh, we got a new group coming in, Casella versus Casella. Well, I want nothing to trash on. I want to do the waste collection. Nothing's supposed to change. Uh, they were going to do the, the waste and the recycling at the same time. So, so we have a new a new contractor coming in? New mm -hmm. July 1st, yeah. yeah. So the next uh, budget is at the school committee, um, which has a 3.4% increase budgeted with some new positions. Um, and then a six and a half percent non salary total 3.9. Um, seems to be kind of consistent with the submitted budget from last year, wasn't it? Around a little under four, uh, yeah, at the beginning, yeah. At the beginning. And then, uh, I'm sure we want to talk to the yeah. school yeah. administration yeah. and committee, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So, education is a talk to, okay. Yeah, pretty much like it usually does, 8.4% on contractual, but it is what it is. Yeah, but, but the, what, I, I, couldn't find, I couldn't find a reason clear. behind the 52,000. I, I, I couldn't make heads or tails with the 52,000, because the, the, the other amount is, is, is 4,000 plus is categorized, but the 52,000 is not. There's no explanation given. In the department's budget, mm -hmm. yeah. And if I'm correct, right now there is no library director. Correct, correct, That's correct. So we're about ready to. I think she, Mary, has gathered a screening committee to do the interviewing. So should we? So, yeah, that would be Mary. Well, Mary would have to. to yeah. So while she's here, we right. Can, yeah. 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 I, I think we should be comfortable with how that eight point four is constructed. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. So, are we saying ask Mary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Recreation is eighteen point three five percent increase in salaries, which the note says contractual obligations. Mm -hmm. Is that like a lot of regrading? I, it ha it must be because there's not that many folks in the recreation department. Oh, she's asking for a full time yeah. staff member though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that would be included in that, right? So this is yes, yeah, one new. So the overall budget isn't huge, uh, but we do have a staffing increase. What's your pleasure? I, I, I think I think it's well, a program think, director, but. I'd, I'd invite her around. I'll tell you why, because she yeah. has she has a major item in that capital planning. It might be good for us to oh, bring it on both the heritage yeah. heritage yeah. Yeah. So it might be good for her to hear the whole yeah. presentation. That's okay. Donna. Donna, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Information is always good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I hope these notes come out good. Celebrations, there's no. Okay. That must be that must be the July 4th parade, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. I would think yeah. that's pretty yeah. much Memorial Day. Huh? Yeah. All the parades. Yeah. All the parades. yeah. 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 Then uh, Council on Aging is again the, the quite a quite an impact on the contractual obligations thing uh, for this year. You're you're just yeah. Kathy is that next year it'll be more more well, nominal. That's a three year contract. Yeah, I, that would be yeah. yeah. I think again because there appears to be some regrading that the biggest bump would be now. So I, I guess from my point, I, I would just like to get comfortable on how this is calculated and how it. You know, Mary yeah. can answer that. Yeah. You know, their their memorandum of understanding would explain how they. Should we mark that one for Mary? Mm -hmm. the end? Yeah. It almost looks. It almost looks like a bit of that. A lot of that money is going to just two people, also. Well, it would be nice. I'd like to have. 
I'm a very visual person, so to see where we sit in all departments, FTEs, mm -hmm. part time, and then a look back of where we were. Mm -hmm. I know COVID really put us in a tough position. So, um, and I also know that the world has changed in terms of hiring people now. Mm -hmm. um, costs a lot more, yeah. but um, I'd like to see just where we are in terms of putting Humpty Dumpty back together. So, uh, are lot. you thinking what you'd like to see is um, kind of a, a listing of FDEs by board or department? By department. We used Last to. Year, I mean, I had that in the, yeah. in the detailed budget because as it, I was going through, mm -hmm. I've example. seen. No, I probably did see it. It just maybe didn't hit. Yeah, if you wanted to calculate it yourselves. So yeah, I can do that. I mean, I can but, just go back I mean, and find it. I know I saw something with a bunch of that. Um, it's just when you, it does, I'm with Rich, when you sit here and you see 19, 13, 20, and you're going. Well, I think if we, one thing that will be helpful is mm -hmm. knowing what the um, memorandum of understanding carves out because it crosses over a half a dozen departments yeah, here. Clearly, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. you know, it's it's okay. it's yeah, so it's all of the town. It's a broad hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So, do we want to bring in the council aging person, or just review for? Uh, it sounds like just yeah. talk to Mary about okay. it. Is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's a, it's There's a, nothing uh, else there other than yeah. What's affected by the new contract? Yeah, that makes sense. And then uh, veteran services is pretty much a nominal increase. Mm, the district. Yeah. yeah. Did anybody get a, a detail? No, I didn't. It was mine was empty too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask. Okay, detail. So should we ask for that? Yes. That's something Steve can provide, I'm sure. Okay, so right. human services is eight percent of the So here we get all your, uh, all these uh, <laughs> yeah. semi-controllable. Uh, oh, hey, bright spot and workers comp. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. I couldn't We're resist. We're a safe town to wait. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the payroll taxes should just be a matter of calculation. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah I mean, of course, it'll like change if we add yes. more you know, the people, right. other settlements and contracts so Correct. subject to change. Yeah. Oof. Workers' comp. Health insurance, I was surprised that held at 4.6. Oh, really? I was yeah. kind of surprised myself. Do we know, um, Pine, uh, what's it called, Scantic Valley? Yes. <clears throat> Are they still subsidizing or are we picking up the whole thing? They years ago used to have a little Pot, city and yeah. would subsidize. I don't know that I'm the right person to ask, but I don't have a sense. Out a while ago, so. I don't have, I never got that sense that there was any yeah. subsidy going yeah. on. Um, um, I noticed that there was a $3,000 set aside for a consultant uh, under health and life insurance. Wait, what are you saying? On the health insurance. Oh. A thirty thousand dollars set aside yeah. for consultant. Well, strange. I talked to Joan Iwinicki yesterday. That's because they and it's something for in the future. Right. I don't know if that thirty thousand would necessarily be all expended in fiscal twenty three. They're going, it's just a thought at this point in time of going to the GIC, which is the right. state employees. Mm -hmm. Right. However, it would require negotiation with all the contracted and mm. all the groups and so forth. So it's a very involved process. So I think that's something we could ask Mary about is the $30,000 an absolute that's needed this year. It might be the beginning of seed money to do that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And then on health insurance, I was also, yeah, thinking, I mean, I did see the breakout and I have to look at it better, but, yeah. you know, in terms of cost savings of, do we need to carry as many plans as many, 
That's been brought up a number of times, and it's, I know it's on Mary's radar to take a, a look at what we offer and the thought of maybe moving toward a GIC. But again, that's not without a lot of... Um, that's um, We'd have to go through all the union negotiations. And the school side as well, yeah. because yeah. every employee in town they, has an opportunity right. to elect the insurance. Right. Right. Some yeah. don't take it, yeah. but... Uh, you've got a ton of unions there to negotiate with. Yeah, I think we've been kicking <laughs> this lot. around for at least 10, 15 years, probably, right. and it is so huge. So that's why I was actually pleased when I saw the 4.6. What percentage does the town pay versus what percentage does the employee pay on their insurance? Do you have any idea? Yeah, it depends on the pro it depends on the plan you choose. Mm -hmm. Plan, yeah. right. Yeah. Retirees are 50-50. Right. Okay. 70 30 right so the town pays 70 and the employee pays 30 yeah. for active employees yeah which is still pretty darn good yeah, yeah. it is yeah, yeah. so uh, one of the reasons we're at 4.6 is that reduction of fifty thousand dollars in the budget for medicare penalty uh, which we had been budgeting and then I guess the budget was, it's kind of hard because there's no headings on the follow-up pages. Yeah. Uh, but in FY22 to the second, we budgeted 50000 and expended through 1119 it's 13000 um, And the budget for 23 is zero. Is zero. So we've got a $50,000 reduction from last year that's helping mm. to keep that Otherwise, would so be it's a one shot four hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, item is liability insurance. So we we want to talk to Mary about the health insurance just as the point of information. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Liability. So now three point nine doesn't. Some more than that. <laughs> you want to leave it alone? Or? Well, it says per the MIIA assessment. So it's again, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's pretty much. And then the retirement assessment is the same kind of thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. Uh, we get told what it is. Correct. Yeah, we get a discount if we pay it early. Yes. Yeah. And they always. Well, the path, to the best of my knowledge, it's paid in one lump in July yeah. just to be done with it. Exactly. And they do get a little consideration yeah, on I it. I think it saves about $30,000 mm. somewhere in that. Category. So insurance overall is 5.3. Right. Well, we've seen worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, basically we have our, our debt and interest, mm -hmm. yeah. which I guess I don't, unless we have questions about it, you know, proposed to... Yeah, the, the, it's pretty detailed in the, mm -hmm. in the yeah. rest of it. I think that's okay. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously not contributing to right. it's it's, a reduction. Yeah. Okay. Capital projects? Oh. speed. This committee's recommendations for that one is definitely needs to be discussed. Would you want to? Would you uh, entertain inviting Ryan in for that? And you want to both on a committee, Jim? So I don't. Right, know. right. Uh, we may bring in a mm -hmm. special guest stars, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then stabilization fund, OPEP trust fund. Uh, Looks like uh, the proposal is to move it from fifty to one hundred thousand for the stabilization. I think the hundred thousand has been our typical mm -hmm. budgeting mm -hmm. number, yeah. and uh, we might have skinned it down last year in order to squeeze the budget in. And again, it's there's no right number, I guess. Uh, the more we have, no. the better we're off. And then I think it's great right. when the council. We moved, um, we voted to move a million out of free cash to OPEB. Maybe yeah. early March, probably, yeah. we did that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I, I applaud the town council and, and that whole strategy. That's certainly, it's not painless, but at least it's a way to do meaningful chunks of funding, yeah. you know, else. without killing an operational budget. Right. Well, they said it, you know, the liability is $56 million. Yeah. And growing, you know, yeah. that's the and killer. The is it every year? We have. Yeah. Actually, interesting though. Would you think that if rates are projected to go up, would that then start to slow the increase in our unfunded liability because the assumption for what we could make <laughs> on our funded things would, making, would be more? Yeah, it would, yeah. It'd be nice to think we make more money on it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, compensated absences. Mm -hmm. fund um, it's just the same as last year valuation services the same as last year uh, community see. preservation fund is uh, zero right yeah. and then the real estate abatement so assuming they're anticipating a fairly substantial increase in Value. abatement requests mm -hmm. Yes, they are. I did speak to um, Diane about that. And even last year, she was a little leery that the amount in the overlay was so low for that year. I wonder and how much said, of the 200000 has been used up so far. Uh, well, of course, the 200000 covers the exemptions also, not just the, the abatements, but the for the veterans, the blind, the elderly. Of course, we do get some reimbursements oh, okay. back for some yeah. of those. But... Um, I, I know she felt as though she'd be more comfortable with 300000 But sometimes it's in a place when you balance the um, recap sheet. That's the That's only right. place where you have some leeway to make your adjustments. So, uh, we can try to plug it in at that amount. I think it's good, but... All right. we'll, we'll keep it under. It's one of those to yeah. review as we get down to that. Yes. So prior year bills, uh, total general fund use is 69,887, including the $2 million, or roughly $3 million in capital projects. Right. I think that's just another restatement of that. Yes, it is. And the next page is actually your rules from the mm -hmm. bar. <laughs> and uh, he's been, this has turned into a good, a good, this was a good idea, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a good way to prioritize, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have listings of the enterprise plan. We assume we can review those on our own and we'll have Bruce available since he's the one who pretty much budgets for these items. Right. And then the final piece of paper is projected tax rate. And obviously, we spend everything the same in 2023. Have a pretty significant increase. Mm -hmm. But I think if we have money available to the offset some of the capital, I think that'll, that'll make a big difference. Um, let's let's go back and recap here. And I don't know if Steve is still on the line. Yeah. If he is, he's willing to jump in. Now we just have to remember our questions. Yeah. And Jim, you have to stretch. I know, I do have to stretch. This might be a good point to stretch. There you yeah. go. One question could be that lending capacity. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah let's start with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to get a better understanding yeah. of that. <laughs> What's the, the real? Bill Aiken, huh? Oh, yeah. Especially when you get up. Wakes me up. I go to bed at a regular hour, but then within an hour or if two, you I wake just, up, you don't sleep well. Uh, about. And then I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hi, everyone. I don't have all the answers, and I was trying to run out the door, but they caught me. So, uh, <laughs> but I will give you, I want to tell you, I have some quick answers, and I figure that the rest, I don't want to give, I don't want to give a necessarily answer without a little bit of research to some of them, but some so of them are you pretty want to easy. Give us your quick answers, and then we'll. Sure. Um, with the meals tax uh, through three quarters, was that 345934 And so, my assumption, which was to your point, it was difficult with these crazy times. Uh, initially, the 195 was COVID. Uh, then, so we're at a pace of 350, 345 for 22. It sounded like we could crank it up. Well, then inflation hit. So <laughs> it's kind of a catch 22 in that regard. And so I felt comfortable with 300,000, meaning I think that's it's under what we're projected to do right now. So we will take into account some inflation adjustments and any potential COVID while acknowledging that with the restrictions being lifted, more people have gone out to eat. Hey, could someone recap that for me? That was fast. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you again, Rich. I'm, I'm taking sorry. notes, Steve. That's why. Initially, the reason I came up with the three, how I came up with the 300,000. Okay. Is through right. three quarters, if we base, okay. if we project out to the end of the year, that is the 345,935, 934 that was in the notes. Okay. But that was assuming, you know, COVID restrictions were all lifted. Then inflation kicked in and so that may affect it. So I wasn't comfortable going up to 350 or even a little bit higher because you expect people going out to eat. However, more people are going to go out to eat, I think, than during COVID, obviously. And so, okay. um, Nice. And that's why I feel comfortable with 300 because it's still below what we're projected to in 22, but not so low that it's kind of unrealistic. Like doing 195 again in 23 would be unrealistic, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Right. Well, Thank you, Steve. With the interest for the banks, uh, I agree. We They should go up. Uh, realistically, they have not yet. Um, I just was looking at my own bank account and they uh, they told me if I wanted to, I could switch it over to like a 0 0.001 interest rate. So the uh, banks may be in the same category as the gasoline companies. Uh, yes, I think <laughs> it's slow, slow to reduce. <laughs> or, the, other, or slow. the other side um, to that, or increase, yeah. yeah. The other side uh, to that, though, too, is the ripple effect downward. Um, the rate, the first rate increase just went in last month, I think, and there's six more. So this time next year, I think we'll be having a different discussion on it. Because it'll have it had a chance to take effect. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. Let's see what else I got. Um, the recurring uh, expenses or recurring costs. Recurring fees. I like to go through it and give you a breakdown, which I don't yeah. have at my fingertips right now. Those are those are one of the ones for the revenue stuff. That's kind of why I'm. Those I'll get to you. Right. I'll, I'll create All a right. schedule. Okay. Just give you more detail because yep. basically, yes. you know, it gives you some. A better yep. insight to it. Other projected revenues, Steve. The is that another one you want to? I do, but let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, I think that would be more comfortable getting you a breakdown. Yeah. It's one of those things that we do with the state for the recap, as far as give a little breakdown of what it is. It's kind of an all-encompassing other, and uh, and I'd rather have you have what makes it up versus. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay. And then, and although Chris, I do like the explanation ask? that other is just everything other, I like that. That should work, right? <laughs> yeah, I was looking for my sheet on the levy limit thing. So we had a question about the levy limit. Yeah, I don't like the levy limit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually, because I, I somewhat get it just from experience, but I'm not an expert on it. And um, for the way I the way we did it initially to kind of give you where I got this from, uh, I talked with Diane and we came, we used what we got from, and it's on the recap for last year. And that's, we came to the 46, 127. And that is a in the budget document, the formula that brings it up there. That's how it gets up there. Then add two and a half percent to that. And then the projected new growth and the debt exclusion to get to the 48. I know uh, Chris has a got a different calculation. So I just want to, I'm going to review that through there. Just make sure we did do it the right way. But um, okay. that's kind of my understanding of it. Do you make the same calculation that Chris, the, the sheet that she was referring to? The sheet I had. Or do you want her to... If you forward it to me, I can go through it and then with everything else, bring it to the, your next meeting. Yeah, I've been shuffling papers here. I'm trying to find it, Steve. Probably with my page seven. <laughs> <laughs> I would show you my office, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I got piles everywhere. So uh, when I locate it, I'll scan it and send it to you. Perfect. That works. Okay. Because so, you'll send him the. Uh, the uh, That's a levy limit worksheet. Do we have any other quick questions for Steve? I have a couple for your expenditure side too. I've, I've been yeah. paying attention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, with IT, uh, yeah. with the um, the difference, part of it was a note that wasn't cleaned up, so I apologize for that. Uh, but also um, with, we had some new equipment, but also Ryan maintains very well. So that keeps, that's why the repairs costs shouldn't have been there, but that's why it kind of came down. Uh, but the main reason is he says contractual, some, there's some co contracts, Cisco, and I forget the other company now have decreased uh, about four grand, which is why the difference is 1300 or so. Does that make sense? Uh, he also said, he shot me an email too. He said, um, maintenance with the core network upgrade, it includes maintenance and in the, what uh -huh. we paid for it. So we don't need to do pay for maintenance in FY23 on that and a wireless upgrade that was uh, funded by Co um, CARES money. Okay. Other questions for Steve? Oh, um, and before, well, I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit, so I apologize, but uh, with the capital costs, the 2.9 that's in there. Yes, right. Yeah. We're looking, uh, Mary mentioned it, um, to use ARPA money and then maybe a small amount of our current free cash. And I believe the breakdown is 2.3 would be ARPA, the remaining money we have from ARPA. And then it'd be roughly 600, 605,000 that would come out of, potentially come out of free cash or beyond the budget as capital for this year. What about this is again, APF, APA. Uh, ARPA. Yeah, 2.3. So 2 Steve, are, yep. ARPA is, uh, has been reallocated, correct, to do for infrastructure. It was for COVID and then for infrastructure? No, or COVID no? Was, is easier, to, the way I break it out, it was CARES with COVID. Okay. With the ARPA, was, um, they, they had it originally as very restrictive. And um, one of the categories you could use it for was infrastructure, which we okay. did two pretty big projects. Bruce did two um, pretty big projects that will last. Yes. Mm -hmm. a long time the water main and etc um and so that took up about half a little more than half then these government in their infinite wisdom because they had one of the categories was lost revenue and when i say a rocket scientist couldn't figure it out i'm probably pretty mm -hmm. close to it it was confusing it was half of a year it was just it was cumbersome as all get out so what they did is they went back and listened to the municipalities i guess and said uh basically a, the equivalent of a standard deduction on your personal income taxes. And they said up to $10 million, you can just check the box. And then if you make, if you lose more than that, that's on you at that point, it's, it's an either or situation, but you can do up to 10 million or the amount of your grant, your ARPA grant. Ours was four and a half million, 4.4 million, I believe. So we were never gonna be near the 10. So for the second half of the ARPA, we've elected to use this standard deduction and then that allows you to use the money for any government services, any government service rather, excuse me. So that's where we can use it for the capital and spend it and, uh, and utilize it. And in many ways, it's infrastructure because our capital is, it has some infrastructure qualities, 
but it enables us to do some fairly big projects without impacting the budget, the tax rate, et cetera. But because it hasn't been determined yet that that's how we're gonna fund these things, that's why the 2.9 is on the budget. So you can sure. see the total yeah. cost. And to yeah. Rich's earlier um, question, the, or maybe it was Jim's, but the two, 2.9 million were all the, what we on the capital committee classified as A or B. It does not have C's in it, um, C's or D's. Those were not recommended. We finishing up the comprehensive capital plan, which we'll forward to you guys, I'm sure. And you can see if what, what was fun, what we're saying we want funded. It's one through 19. There's a total of 19 projects, including the Heritage Park uh, request. All right. The detail on the veteran services, um, do you have anything on that? Because I didn't have anything in my packet. I guess Rich didn't have anything either. We have it for the 33.9 is or 33.6 piece that we got after we had sent that to you. I will forward it to you. Well, thank you. It's a, it gives, and it just as a preview, I guess, it gives a total and then it gives each town's allocation. And you'll see that's where we got the dollar amount from. Very helpful. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Steve. Good. Uh, just looking at our agenda for today, and our next item of business is to develop a schedule of patients uh, to work through our, because we have now. Five meetings, including the 519, uh, to go. So we've got April 21st, April 28th, May 5th, and May 12th, really, that are working, working meetings. Um, so perhaps if we go back now to view and determine which ones we said we wanted to I, uh, speak to. I can read my notes. I'll right, we put down the invite list. Yeah. We, we, uh, well, obviously, Mary McNally. He said, yeah, Don Fonte, if you want to say. Um, is it, the director of human resources is Joan and I would Nikki. I would Nikki. We wanted to invite uh, Ryan. We said we hold at this time. Police chief, we wanted to invite the fire chief. We wanted to invite obviously Bruce Finney. We wanted to invite Cody Smith. Mary is going to respond for the library. We thought we'd invite the recreation for Don, Donna Prather. Mary would answer council on aging. Mary would answer health and life insurance. Capital project will hold Ryan in advance because Jim and I were on the committee. If we need him, he was also. And that's it. That was the list we had. I didn't take all those names now, so that's the I have on my list here. Yeah. Yeah. If, if Mary was uh, available next Thursday. We should start with her. I agree. And that'll tick off four, three or four, four things. Right. right. Yeah. That that would cover a lot. Be, be Don, be yeah. Joan, Joan, Joan I was like, yeah. and Council on Aging. Do that on the twenty eighth. On the twenty first. So that'll be Mary. Get different. Might be, they might not be all that complicated. Um, right. Though. Yeah. Mm. Well, they weren't the big heavy. Right. Right. But, so we've got. The 21st, the 28th, is that what you said? Right. For, yeah, we have the 21st, the 28th. It was the 21st now, Mary. And the 12th. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. It's, Next week, start with Mary. Yeah. Chris, you would sure send wanna, out sure um, a school. schedule of when Mary's here and not. Is she here for the 21st? They yeah, give them more time um, for. They yeah. let them have their hearing yeah. first. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. vacation week, too, isn't it? Right. Yeah. 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 Next yeah. week, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's vacation week. Okay. Gordon's in the first. Isn't it in the week? Oh yeah. Okay. She's not gonna be okay. Mary's, yeah. Mary's not Mary's not gonna be here on the twenty first. Okay. She's um so, I would say Bruce. Bruce would answer a lot of questions too. And Bruce? Capital projects. Yeah. So Bruce on the twenty first. And you want to yeah. do capital projects? Get that out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. So that be Ryan, Bruce. And you guys run. Yeah. You run the That's what Bruce and Ryan you want to write? Sure. Okay. Okay, that's for the twenty first. Is that enough? Do we do we want to put anybody else in there or um I think we need the first fifteen minute tournaments with just ourselves, right. you know. So maybe yeah. we maybe we invite them at two o'clock. Right. Um so on the twenty eighth, do we 
go with the schools. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Mary? That will be right after their hearing. Right. Yeah, 428 schools. Because that way there it gives us 5.5 five and 5.12 to chew on things. And then Mary as well, after the schools? Yes, 5.5. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we, oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah. I, I was thinking on the 28th, just the schools. Oh, is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. How much no. time do you think? Uh, that usual, that could show up a bit. These are the, the, we've got the biggies up in front. And then we, on the 5th, we could do Mary, Joan, and right. uh, blank. Saying, no, and if need Donna, be, yeah, Donna. Uh, yeah. If need be, police and, and fire. Oh, oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. So we, we're going to have to crunch because, okay, so police and fire. Could be are going to be a while too. Yeah. I, I think it'd be, I think we would want to be here when we're discussing the schools. Well, that's 50.94% of the budget. Yeah, that's, so that's I, I put schools in Mary yeah. on the 28th. Okay. Because a lot of her answers are going to be one liners from, from some of those smaller departments. Yeah. Plus, that gives us that if we have overflow, we could move. We've got up room to, well. right. Yep. So, or does that include could... police and fire? I would want to freeze my the next time. Mary would include, yeah. Uh, Mary would. Yeah. I don't know. That just seems like have... a lot to throw into one meeting. That is. Oh, I would put oh, yeah. all police little, and fire all on the fifth. Yes. Budgets, I would. I would I, I would agree with you. We could probably do get police and fire on the fifth. Fifth on the fifth. Okay, police fire fifth. So the twenty eighth is still schools, but then also Mary, and okay. in, in the various budgets that we wanted to clarify mm -hmm. under that. So small budgets also on five five. No, just police and fire. School and school and Mary, Mary on twenty eighth, and then the fifth could be. Police and fire and whatever else we need to smaller budgets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, well, or, if we can get through Mary's questions, you know, um, it cleans up a lot of the little yeah, ones. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right. So May fifth could be police and fire and, and any other ones we still need to to be determined. right because we know yeah. by the twenty eighth. Right. Right. Okay. And that leaves us uh, the May twelfth to if we need callbacks, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. to talk to talk again, so like a final and, review and to discuss ourselves. Yeah. Are we assuming that five nineteen will be our wrap up and get stuff ready for the council? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you know the idea that we need to have meetings to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in the past, we've also added one or two if it gets really difficult, haven't we? We've thrown one in. Thrown one or two in if we needed to. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. Last year and the year before, we met twice in one week. Yeah. I think yes. just be out of necessity. Just out of necessity. <laughs> right. So we'll need to let folks So we know. just have to fine tune what? whoever we want to see on May 5th after police and fire, because right. I think those will be relatively quick. Uh, it, it, if Mary gives us some fill in before then, that would be helpful too. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to let the boots know about next week if he's available and we'll go through the capital projects uh and hopefully maybe have a little bit of a discussion about the funding options for the capital project i mentioned bruce but we also mentioned you also want ryan here too uh jim um we i i think maybe as a courtesy we could invite well, him he's a chair he's yeah. the chair he's more intimate with uh, all the details oh, yeah. so i think we should probably get him like a 145 just give us a chance 15 minutes to kind of yeah yeah so, 140 just give it yeah but well, you're gonna have to look at these minutes because <laughs> well, we'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could uh, estimate where we are because Bruce, it depends. That can take a while or it can take not much time. Right. Yeah. All right. So they may have to kind of hang in there. Okay. All right. So the 21st, uh, Bruce and uh, and Ryan, if he's available, mm -hmm. 28th. Uh, schools and Mary, right? Um, with the, the individual questions that we have, and then the fifth, police and fire, and any cleanup questions or discussions we need to have, 
the twelfth, we anything we need Final to do review. and keep talking about where we are. Um, and the nineteenth, okay. hopefully, getting to the point where we're, we've got rough recommendations. One thought. Uh, um, I know we just had Steve on live, but do we want to bring Steve in at any point? Or are we okay with just well, I'm, having you know, let me bring off? something up because actually I find that uh, in terms of whether we meet in person or whether we meet in Zoom, mm -hmm. because it seems like it's easier for people to join in and be on mm -hmm. the thing if they're on Zoom, right? Uh, because he probably would have just been monitoring the thing and just answered questions right. while, while it was there and that might be the same thing for mary uh, so and and the others as well do, they, do we want to have to make them come in in person do we do it just you know i guess i, I throw it out because uh, I, I think the fact that steve was in his office yeah. gave him the ability to answer those questions much quicker and so I think if Bruce and Ryan are in their office, general office, if we ask a question, they may have the documents readily available. But if they're here, right. we're going to hear, I'll have to get back to right, them. Right. So I, I kind of like the idea of them being on Zoom. Even though I like it in person, but yeah, it sounds like it'd be more efficient. Facilitate it. <laughs> huh? yeah, it's fine. No, I just, yeah. I mean, I can have a bigger TV. And... Well, it's either that or we all just do the Zoom, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like Chris. <laughs> All right, so theoretically, what you prefer is be able to pull them up on a on a screen and talk to them. Yeah, or we'll give them the option it because it's just disruptive as, for them. I mean, as right. Rich said, if they, if they just have to lean over and get a file, yeah, yeah right. they yeah. can do that. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll have to say, "I'm going to have to get back to you." Yeah, and then we're stuck on the. You're more comfortable in this room doing this. Honestly, I think this yeah, works I, better. I, I, I think it tend to be more complex because right. on Thursday we right. do have the entertainment. Right. Last year that wasn't an issue. Right. Which yeah. is why it worked out on Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Okay. But we and, really and don't and need any more space than this. No. And it's nice and intimate. Not and we can hear each other. Not for yeah. having everybody else join Come us by Zoom. Zoom. Right. Yeah. From their offices. Yeah. Mm. Good. Good. Um, so the next item on our agenda was develop a timetable, next steps, and schedule yeah. committee meetings. I think we can begin review of budget smart for review. Well, it is 309. I think we probably we accomplished yeah, what we really we meant to do. Accomplished well. a lot. Yes. We did. Yeah, we we got did a lot today. So is there anything before we adjourn that uh, anybody wants to bring up or what we need to discuss? All you know is John's doing the minutes next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you'll be on Zoom next week. I'll be on Zoom next week. Okay. All right, if not, I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. And uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you very much. See you next Thursday. We get to go out. It's beautiful weather oh, before the floor.